team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Moorhead State Eagles and the Illinois Fighting Illini. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Fighting Illini are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I can admit. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. For two, perfectly executed. That's worth another look. Now trying to feed the low block. Colin, pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And gets it to fall. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. The shooting guard gets the ball. Puts up the tray. Nice shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. They go into the low block. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Down inside. Jump hook from the low block. And in and out. And off the mark. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Looking for a good shot. The point guard with the ball. He wants a three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. On the dribble, gives it up. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. On the outside, Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. High post flashes. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Trying to feed the low block. Picked off. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Good job defensively. And the slam. The 
shooting guard gets the pass. He rejects it. Where? Slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Got it. Look at that spacing. The small forward takes the feed. He dials long distance. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He drains the shot. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Both teams looking to get things going here. Great anticipation defensively. The center takes the pass. Trying to draw some contact. Easy one. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Fake. Had a momentary look from three-point land. On the dribble, gives it up. Stop and pop. He gets the shot to fall. Finney is fired up right now emotional. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Let's it fly. Knocks it down. Up and inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Looking for a good shot. For two, in and out. Looking for the foul, and he scores despite the hat. He launches a three. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go.
Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. For the bucket, doesn't go. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Working it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. This is the second shot. He makes it. Now the high screen jumps in, tickles a twine. Time to pick up the defense here now. Turns it over. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Puts the ball loose. Tries for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The well, hits just keep coming, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Three sinks it. That's a nine zip run. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots. Goes. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Thanks, Aaron. He pump fakes. He got a nice screen. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. the 
perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets the bucket to fall. It's the replay, please. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting a deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the outside, here's the three ball. Gets it to fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Off the rim and no good. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let them get the ball and let them try to beat us way off target tries to get the D to bite very soft defensively no pressure on a basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively The fake goes up for two. They still don't score. Basket falls despite the contact. Moving it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Nice fake. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Dump it inside. Looking for a good shot. Outside jumper. You betcha. Gave it up in the paint. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. And he'll kick it back outside. Got a wide open look. Top of the circle. That was nice. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. Gets the rejection. On the 
dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball, drains it. There's a high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. There's the fake. Stolen ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Will take the shot. He buries it. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the outside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. A silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He does the sweet fake shot. The crowd voices their approval. What a response they're getting. What a response. What enthusiasm. Up and inside. Tempo to game really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. It sticks. Cue up the replay, fellas. out of play and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups <laughs> on the outside puts up the shot off the rim and no good nice job to create the angle using the glass He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He lets it go. He hits it. We get another look. Takes the pass in the paint. Leans in. Up. Easy one. Shot clock is dead. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. circle way off target at the end of the first half the Eagles lead by three now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half Illinois allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but give it away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Dumps it in. Brooks handles the feed. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The frustration right there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby! He'll visit the charity strike. Rims off. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Takes away the pass. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Picked out of the air. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. Stolen ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. High post screen, going to use it. Fakes a jumper. They work it back to the outside. He shoots from the angle. Illinois is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. the outside takes the pass in the paint tries for two for the bucket lays it up watch the replay Brad pushing that basketball I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. Gets... Two at the charity strike. Ouch! Screen set hard on the defender. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Picks off the pass. Here we go on the break.
That's basic. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They're working around the arc. They work the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Gets it to go. That's a 7 nothing run. He's got a nice shot fake. Davis handles the pass. Executes the baby hook. And in and out. Picks off the lazy pass. Rivers receives the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes it. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Strong rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Gave it up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 41 checks in for the first time. I tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. He misses the first. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. He misses the second. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the outside. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. Takes away the pass. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, great job of the ball fake that created the up-and-under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up-and-under move to utilize good footwork. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. He's got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Great defense. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. He strips him clean. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Collins. Modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotional. He couldn't be much lower on it. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Dump it inside. He lets it go. He drains the bucket. Go 
Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brian. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. Steals the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Strips the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. You don't see plays like this every day. Receives the ball. He comes away with it. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the outside. He shoots from long range. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. He intercepts it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Intercepted. Baseline, they'll bring it out on top on the dribble, gives it up. And it takes some pride on his defensive end. Picks off the lazy pass. Close first half, Dick, but this one has fallen apart here in the second half, and uh, this looks like this one's over. Yeah, they're a deeper team, and they got really a lot more stamina, and he also able to make shots. You know, when you're fatigued, you can't make shots. They are making shots right now. For two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. There's the block. A whistle and a foul, and the coach not happy on the sideline. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. 
turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Finney. They get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. One shot. Just like in practice, the Eagles are behind by 11. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Gave it up. He's got some room. Up fake for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Illinois are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Makes the shot. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. He hits the shot. <laughs> Working around the perimeter. For two, and he scores despite the hack. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move for the goal. Dump it inside. He's open if he wants the shot. That's good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Takes the pass in the paint. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. 
Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Look at that spacing. Top of the circle they work. Gets a hand in the way. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Should have basketball help one another communicate. Looking for a screen on top and got it. For the deuce, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Cross court. He fires from long range. Moorhead State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Ware has got the fans roaring and applauding. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. This crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sets the screen for his teammate. Tries for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. Timeout's call. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get back to the action. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Here's the three ball. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Picked out of the air. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. Clean. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a count the way. Change 
things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Fighting Illini opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves enter in the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.